Good afternoon, good evening, and good night, and welcome to Throwbacks, where we talk all things cool and retro, and today we have one from the vault, the vault that is, well, in my parents' house. Um, this was my original toy, so this bad boy's got to be at least 30 plus years old from my childhood, and it is, of course, the Fisher Price Barn House. This thing was awesome. I loved it. I still love it to this day. It brings back so many awesome memories. Um, what a just a Fisher Price back when these little type uh, playhouses and cities and things like that were being made were just so fun. Just all imagination and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and crack in to it and kind of just see uh, what the uh, fuss is about. I guess we'll go with. So starting off here, this kind of ingenious idea here. We have a silo, you know, normally used for grain and things like that. Um, you know, good old metal bottom. Cool artwork all the way across to use your imagination on. Little barn door there and then the ladder. But it did have a multi purpose, which you lean it over, you slide the top off, and what do you get? You get accessories, and in this case, the accessories. Um, were some gate pieces. I'm pretty sure I probably lost a few of these along the way, but um, some gates, fences, um, however you want to look at it to, um, you know, be able to build your area out uh, for your barn animals and things like that. I think at some point these got used for like um, barriers for, <laughs> for wrestling figures and stuff like that. So, you know, back in the day when we had to use our imaginations and make things happen, that was one of the things we made happen. But let's get on into the barn house. So we'll start up top. It came with this little, open it up, and look at there. You got the, looks like a rooster laying eggs, so however that works out. But you got a nice little compartment here for storage and things like that. But you can put some barn animals and things like that up there. Um... When I was a kid, after I got out of the this stage and using it, I would use this as a um, a kind of a base for my um, micro machines. In fact, let me pause this real quick and show you kind of how I did that. All right, and as the Power Rangers would say, back to action. So let's pull the little uh, chicken rooster combination out of there. But what I would do is have my little ship, close the door. And then you just kind of have your nice little base. <laughs> so you'd open up your hatch, make whatever noises that you wanted to, and there you are. You have one of your your ships come out from the base, and doo -doo -doo, and off they go. So you'd have that, or then you could have a major base, and then you would have the dreaded Star Destroyer come in and do a little nice little aerial uh, bombardment on there. But that was just kind of what I ended up turning it into over time is um, a base because I loved, loved, loved um, these micro machines. So kind of, uh, yeah, kind of my thing there. So close that up and then we'll get back to the main area of the barn. So you would lift this up and then let's see if we can get the sound. There it is. There's the nice little sound. <laughs> You'd open it on up. And there you go. You got your good old Fisher Price people. So you'd have your little car. Just a very simple car with a little thing for. So in the city play sets, you would have a gas station that you, could, whoop, that you could plug that into. And they just sit right in there. And there you go. What's it, how's that for, uh, what, I think we got one point of articulation. There you go, one point of articulation. And then we had the Moo Cow. A nice little Fisher Price Moo Cow. I'm assuming this is Fisher Price. What do we got here? Made in uh, Hong Kong. So, nice little Moo Cow going on there. Mama Moo Cow. And then we had the Fisher Price tractor came with the, a nice little hook here. You just hook it on up. And away we go. Very, very cool setup here. Man, you know, the simplicity of it is, is, is pretty mind boggling by today's standards, but the hours and hours of fun you could have with this is. Um, 
it can't be understated. I mean, this was a full day's uh, work just doing this back and forth and coming in here. And then, of course, you would have your Hot Wheels and stuff like that. That was also a thing. You know, you'd have your uh, race cars and stuff, and you have your little garage that you could use. So that's the inside of the barn. Very nice. But, you know, you could do anything from taking the little person off here, and then, again, this could just be a giant... Uh, troop transport type thing and there you go you got your ship in there and it's transporting your broken ship to the uh, the shipyards or whatever so a very nice tool toy um, from a, a much much simpler time obviously um, but you know what my kids are getting uh, some joy out of it I got it here in the manland so it can't be completely destroyed when I'm not watching but that's it for Throwback Thursday. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I know I did. And if you did, do us a favor. Give us a good old like. Give us a comment. And hit us with a subscribe. We do greatly appreciate it. But uh, for myself, for Uncle BJ, and the rest of Throwbacks, we're going to throw one back. And we'll see you all next time.